Okay, everyone, so here you have it. I have it all laid out, what you're gonna need for this meal. So it's very easy, very simplistic, nothing too fancy. So you're gonna need, as you can see, you've got one package of frozen french fries uh, over here. So it's kind of spread it out throughout the two different trays. Then of course you got your cheese up here. So, so just a leftover ch shredded cheese I had from a previous meal. Then of course you've got your chicken burgers down here. I've got four of them. I'll move them over so you can see. So there are four chicken burgers right there. So we're gonna put those back to where they were on the pan. And then of course you have your hamburger buns over here. You need four of those. And then of course for the poutine, you're going to need your gravy. So I have the gravy here. So I'm gonna get this all cooked. And I will be back with you guys when it's ready to go on the plate. Figured I'd show you guys just a little bit. It's already in the uh, toaster, or toaster oven, in the air fryer. So there you guys go. It's all ready to go for 38 minutes at 425. We'll be back with you guys soon. Okay, y'all. So while dinner is cooking, what better way to pass the time? Wow, I'm going to do a quick friend mail call. Woohoo! That's right. I got a little bit of friend mail here to go through. So I thought... While we're waiting for the chicken burgers to cook, why not get kill two, two birds with one stone and do a quick mail call? So I love my family, I love my friends, and I love my YouTube family. So I always love when they get send get mail. So I got two packages from my friend Lisa from our Georgia suburban homestead. I will get that right, and I see the, the lighting just changed. Yeah, there we go. Oh, you know what? Forget it. Hey, hoozles. <laughs> Lighting, gotta love it. But yeah, so I got two packages from her. Now, one of them contained this. Let's see. They're cardamom leaves. So I am looking forward to figuring out how to use those. And with that, as per always, she did send me a little pamphlet telling me what exactly you can use them for and how to use them. So I always love getting the stuff from her. She's really great with herbs and herbology and natural medicines so that is amazing and I'm looking forward to trying them and seeing what I can do with these leaves and then I also won on one of her uh, uh, draws that she does a package of seeds I wasn't expecting no one but I did so you guessed it everyone I got the package of seeds and I have no clue where I'm gonna grow this or how I'm gonna grow this or what I'm gonna do with it Y'all see that? It's a gigantic cabbage. Look at that. You can see the kid standing behind it. That kid's got to be at least two foot tall. So, yeah. They can average, it says on the back here, average 17 to 37 pounds and up to 44 pounds. Oh my god, that's a big monster of a freaking cabbage. Oh well guys, I guess you're going to see some me, me try to grow a huge cabbage next year, so stay tuned for that. That'll be fun. But thank you so much, Lisa. I got my seeds and I'm enjoying it, so yay. And then my friend Gary uh, over at KY Prepper 5, he had his celebration for 1K, if I remember right, and such. Gary, if I got that wrong, might let me know. My brain is, uh, I'm fuzzled and I can't remember. But I got his in the mail. I won. Um, it was a $25 gift card from Amazon, but he had pre-purchased purchased the gift card in the States. I'm in Canada. Couldn't use it. So instead, he sent me a nice little mail here. I got a bigger sticker. So isn't that awesome? So now that I got this sticker and a couple others you're going to see here in a second, friends of mine, um, Mike and Terry over at MT Homestead, gave me a great idea. The extra sticker, since I haven't got my sticker album started, I'm going to get some magnetic paper. I'm going to take the stickers, I'm going to put them on, and make my own magnets. So stay tuned for an upcoming video on that once I get the magnet paper. So I got one of those to do that with. And then I got this nice little folded paper here. And inside of it, it says, Congratulations! I really appreciate your support. And, and I included a channel sticker, and then it's got, you know, Gary's little thing there, and he, he signed it, and then he actually sent me, <laughs> this is fun, he actually sent me the American money, so 
I's got me some American money. Cool, huh? Isn't that awesome? So that's what the $5 bill looks like. For any of you out there who don't know what an American $5 bill looks like, there's what a $5 bill looks like. That's the front. Oh, there's the back. Oop. There you go. There's the back. And then there's a $20 bill. So there's a 20, the front of the $20 bill. And then there's the back of the $20 bill. And I have no idea who these presidents are that are on these damn bills. Yeah. Uh, Benjamin Franklin, I think, is the only one I know or whatever that's on, isn't it, the $100 bill? So I has no clue who these people are. But there you go. So thank you, Gary. I do appreciate that. And I will figure out how to spend it and I'll let you know how I do. So thank you very much. We do appreciate that and everything. So put that off to the side. Heck, heck. I might just keep it because it's funny money. Look at that. It's cool. <laughs> and then last but not least... Now, this, I got this before we hit on November, so I've been holding on for it, uh, holding on to it now for a while, but I got, I'm going to kind of cover the stuff, okay, and then I got, so can anybody guess what this might be? Well... If you guessed my very first Christmas card of the season, you got it. I love it. Isn't that beautiful? Oops, I can't remember there's something inside of it. Isn't that pretty? So in October, just barely in October, we got our first Christmas card and I couldn't, I love it and I appreciate it. And it is from our good friend Skipper over at the Numis Maniac. And I got another one of his stickers, so yes, I will be turning that into a magnet as well. And I'm going to turn my fridge into a whole YouTuber magnet montage. A second sticker board, if you will. So I, I got his sticker. So, and then I got this one too. Um, Treasure Hunters. Um, Mayor, I can't, I'm, I'm probably saying that wrong. But I got this one, so that's going to go up on the sticker board. It says classic first run sticker. So I got that. So it's going up on the sticker board here in a little bit. And the card says best wishes, Tiffany. Ha happiness for the holidays and throughout the new year. And, and then he wrote a nice little note. He says, thank you for visiting the channel. Please come again soon. With respect, the skipper, a.k.a. the Numis Maniac. And then inside he taped. I don't know if you guys can see that. I Terry Fox Canadian Looney. I won that on one of his lives, so I was amazed to have that and everything like that. So it's going to go in my collection of YouTuber paraphernalia. And uh, I'm loving it. So yeah, we got our first Christmas card. So there you guys have it. There's all of our friend mail for right now. More keeps pouring in, so you never know when one's going to pop in here or pop in there or pop up, period. But I know that the thing's about to go off, so let's go hop back into it and let's go see what, how dinner turned out. Okay, everyone, so now it's done, so we're just gonna take a sneak peek in. They look amazing. So now it's time to get them on the plate. And there you guys have it. We've got chicken burgers and a makeshift poutine. Now, this is not a traditional poutine because I did not use cheese curds. But this is the cost-effective method and the use-what-you-have-in-your-house method where I use shredded cheese, as you all can see. So, as per always, I will put the cost of everything down at the bottom of the screen and then what it costs per person. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, maybe think about leaving a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, come join the family. We can get up into a lot of chaos with the winter starting. Have a great night, everybody.